this is Bing Sendugasa once more on Ponda. And before we begin, from Ponda, we wish all our ladies globally a happy mm. International Women's Day. And actually, uh, I do think that this day too, uh, it's kind of for men in a way, I'm going to explain at the end of the video how men join in the celebration, okay? But nonetheless, um, I would like to us to look at two themes today. A brief summary of the history of Women's Day and actually the theme, the UN's theme of Women's Day 2019. Now, looking at the history of Women's Day, um, firstly, it all started in the, of course, there have been a lot of activist women fighting for women's rights, but um, officially, in, on the 20th of, of February 1909 in the United States of America, led by the Socialist Party, was a revolution or was a protest by women who were protesting for their rights, equal gender rights. And then it follows that the next year in August 1910 in Denmark, the International Socialist Party organized um, an international women's day of some sort, inviting over 100 female people from over 17 countries over the globe who came and they were fighting for the right to suffrage. Suffrage means the right to vote and the right to stand as a candidate in an election. Now, the following year, um, the first International Women's Day, which was not yet recognized by the UN, was celebrated across many European countries. And then we also have Russia in 2017, where women were protesting, and were protesting for bread and for peace, amongst other things, including the right to vote. Now, after the Russian Revolution, when the Emperor of Russia, the Tsar Nicholas II, abdicated the throne, the provisional government which was made granted women the right to vote. And of course, Russia was a communist nation and the foremost communist nation in the world at the time. So all other communist countries with time took up the practice. And then before we knew it, this thing had extended globally such that the UN in 1975 was forced to approve this day. And in 1977, the International Women's Day, 8th of March, was actually celebrated for the first time and then subsequently as we have it today. Now looking at the theme of the UN's theme of the Women's Day Celebration 2019, it goes thus, think equal, um, rather sorry, think equal, think smart, innovate for change. Think equal, be smart, innovate for change. Now, um, the aim, if you go to the UN's website, you see that the aim is to, the aim of this theme is to still to um, reiterate upon gender equality and also to make, to create an, an inclusive society whereby the sustainable development goals can be achieved, an inclusive society whereby women are included in science and technological innovation, in development, in politics and all of these things in order that our society can actually achieve the sustainable development goals the UN has set for the world. Now, talking about gender equality, you have to understand the name of equality. Equality does not necessarily just mean that um, having a 50-50 ratio of, of things. No, you can have a 50-50 ratio of things and there's still a great amount of inequality. It's actually about the mindset and the relationships. Now, we must remember that men and women are all equal. That's the first thing we must understand. And since they are all equal, they deserve equal rights. But then there's something also we need to, we need to know. There's a natural, by what I mean by natural, it's natural like from nature. There's a natural gender bias. Now I'm going to explain it a little. For example, if somebody is going to hire a carpenter, be it a man or a woman, if you notice that this carpenter, if you have a female or a male carpenter before you, you are more inclined to hire the male carpenter because if you feel like this guy is. Uh, Physically more, much more suited to the job. If you have a secretary, and if you want to hire a secretary, you're more inclined to hire a female over a male. Why? Because psychologically, it's been proven that females have a higher attention span. They can have pay attention to over to at least seven objects at the same time, while a man can pay attention to a maximum of three or four, seven, four uh, objects at, the, at a time. Which means that the versatile nature of the secretarial duties, actually logically speaking. Um, favor a lady more, but then it doesn't. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean necessarily that um, meritocracy should give way to bias. Yes, we have biases in our society, but then equality means looking at things objectively. Let's try to be objective as much as we can. If we think that this person has the qualities for the job, or 
has a suggestion, has an idea which could help. We should listen to the person, be it a man or a woman, especially if it's a woman. We should listen to her. Women too have great minds. They have the same brains like we do, and some of them are very, very smarter than the guys out there because they are even much more hardworking. The society even makes them much more hardworking than us. Women have to be mothers today, and at the same time, with being mothers, they have to pursue their careers. It's not easy. They are working really hard, so we should really appreciate our women. So we should listen to them because they too have a seat. And all of this begins where? In the family, because the family is the healing of society. If we do not do this in the family, then it will never translate or be transmitted into society. Now, I said something. I said that in as much as we celebrate the National Women's Day, men too, yeah, 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 somehow have, somehow I included, this is my reason why. Actually, genetically speaking, a woman has XX, two X chromosomes, and a guy has an X and a Y chromosome. So I think some of us males too have the X chromosome, which comes from our mothers. We also have that feminine aspect in us. So I think, well, this day is somehow ours, so I'm not trying to steal the day from you, the ladies. No, no, no. But you understand, I'm just trying to, we somehow can partake in the celebration too. So the day, yeah, we celebrate the ladies, we celebrate our great ladies, but we also celebrate. Ah, in a way, a little bit, our guys. And now I'm going to give you three examples of great ladies out there. African ladies. I'm not African. Let's promote Africa. African ladies who have done great jobs. The first one is called, it's a Kenyan called Ori Okolo. And she's a lawyer and an activist. And she has created a revolutionary crowdsourcing tool called Ush, uh, Ushahidi, which helps to source reporters and journalists, or which helps reporters and journalists and people, I mean, women all over the world, globally, to report cases of violence. We also have people like Chimamanda Adichie, which is a, who is a prolific writer, and she has actually won the coveted Orange Prize. And actually, even people like Chino Achebe have spoken so highly of her, like she's like a continuation of one of Africa's great writers. And we also have other ladies all over the continent. Read about them, search them. Ladies are doing very well. So a thumbs up to our ladies, a thumbs up to all our ladies. Happy International Women's Day and remain blessed. See you next time on Ponder. Bye-bye.